So now what we're going to get into is the uh, eye drop tool, the uh, frame tool, and then also um, we're going to get into the spot healing tool. So that's going to be some cool elements. So let's make sure we have our layer selected again with the move tool. Um, we can just move this around. We'll put it towards the center and we'll hit command um, um, I just to bring it out a little bit. So let's get into the uh, frame tool. So now this is cool. Let's add a new layer and let's just make a little selection here. So with that selection, what we can do is take our layer one and throw it into our um, layer one frame. Now, what that allows us to do if we zoom in is have the image within a frame, which is um, a pretty cool little um, nifty thing that you can do here in Photoshop. And again, you can move this um, image around. So if you wanted to, you could frame up this guy. And then if you hit Command T, we could, you know, um, compose them within this frame. So it will zoom in just a touch here. So we'll frame in this guy, make him smaller. Now, if we hit enter, we've got our image within a frame which is really cool. Um, so again, we could also double click and get into different aspects. So again, this is one cool way. Um, you can um, do a couple things with that. We will get into a little bit of these um, other adjustments as well. Um, there's so much to go um, to work with um, with these as well, but that's how you do that. Um, um, I don't do a lot of work with this particular aspect, but that's how you do that. That's how you utilize the frame tool to um, frame out your image. So again, you can, if you hit um, the layer, this will select the, the, the entire frame. And if you move over just to the left, you can change the size of your, of your frame, which is really cool. So, um, you know, depending on what you want and how you want to make an effect, you know, we could put in, say, Tommy over here, kind of, you know, make him the star of this. So we can go back and forth from, you know, changing the size of our image to the actual tool, um, to the actual um, frame. So we could change the size of the frame and just um, move the frame towards the middle here. And then by taking our image, we can compose Tommy towards the middle. So now you have this to work with, which is kind of cool. I wouldn't use it for um, too many projects, but depending on what you have, that's how you use that tool. So let's go back and what we're gonna do now is start working with a different image. Uh, we're just gonna Command Z, a couple of this. We'll get it back to the original state because I wanna keep this file open. But what we're gonna do is add another image. So let's just hit um, layer three and um, let's just hide this image for now. And then what we're gonna do is hide the backdrop as well. So now we have a clean slate. What we're gonna do is just go to our finder and I'm gonna show you a different way to import images. Um, what we're gonna do is import this image cause it's so colorful. This is um, an image from a music video, a screenshot. So if we hit enter, we have this nice image um, on our project. Let's just make it a little bit bigger than what we have here, perfect. So now we're gonna use this and we're gonna talk about a couple of the other um, tools. So right here we have the eyedropper tool. Now this is going to be for the color to be able to select different things. So if we go to the face here, we could hit say this little um, strap. So that's going to give us in this little box the exact color and the number of the color. So you could say take this Command copy that and save that on your notes. And then that will, you know, um, be your color for your branding or whatever it is you are using. Um, and then you could take that image and change the, the hue, like the actual um, color. You could go change it to a different color um, or whatever you want. So this is a good way to, you know, um, take a color. So say you wanted this exact white, you would hit that part and then 
you could change between these two so you can hold say her uh, we'll do a little different part we we'll do this is part a different part of her hair color and then you could um, identify that or if there's a sign in the back you can get the exact yellow color of that which is really cool so it's uh, nice to be able to quickly take colors and uh, Photoshop has been growing and doing really well that way. So we'll zoom out just a tad. What we're gonna do now is go to the top left and this is going to be where a lot of the magic happens for um, your brush sizes and when we use the, um, the stamp tool and whatnot. What we're gonna do is change the size. So we'll make it 50 or so. And then now um, if we look at our um, spot tool, it's much bigger. So all we do is click, hold on, we'll select all this, let go, and that's going to eliminate this sign. So it's going to look at the, the image and it's going to replace it with something else. So if we wanted to eliminate this as well and let go, it does that automatically. So again, say we're like, oh, I don't want this in the image. It kind of takes your eyes away from, um, you know, her face. You could do that. Boom. It eliminates. And it's not going to be perfect. You'll have to go in there and make adjustments yourself. Command Z. But for the most part, if you just work your way around her hair, um, do something like this. And then even say this in the backdrop here. We'll just work around her hair. As you can see, we have eliminated that aspect. So um, what I'll do, just because I didn't do the best job at that um, when I first did it, but now um, I should have duplicated it before. Look how fast we have been able to um, eliminate something in the background of the photo. Like that's incredible. That took um, not only a short amount of time, but Look how effective that was. Um, I will show you how to do that with the stamp tool. Um, but as you can see, this is a very cool aspect and any beginner can do this. Um, again, if we zoom in even heavily into the image, um, this is the original image and this is the one we just got rid of. And it's quite seamless. Um, I could see this aspect here that we could get rid of as well. So like, look at that, boom. So from afar, obviously you probably won't be zoomed in that much. From afar, you would have no idea that that element was there and you could do the same thing here. It will process and eliminate, um, you know, this part of the photo. So you could, in a sense, get rid of, say, some color here on the track. Um, if you wanted to get rid of, you know, just maybe a little leaf it will take other parts of the image and fix that. And it's not gonna be perfect because it doesn't know exactly what you wanna take. The other way of doing that is to use the stamp tool. So um, we'll get into that in just a second. Um, there's that aspect as well. Um, what we could do um, is get into the brush tool real quick and say we wanted to go to our other image. So we'll hide these just by getting rid of the eye tool. And we'll get into the brush tool and say we want to um, just color in the head of this fish here. And what we want to do is select a color. So eh, maybe we'll just make it a red fish. And we'll adjust it like so. Um, what we could do is go back to our lasso tool. Um, we'll do the polygonal one. What we'll do is go in here. And what you could do in a sense, because all the lines are connected, you could go over here and just use the paint bucket and just dump that in. But since we are getting creative, what we'll do is just select, you know, the inside here. And we're gonna do this real quick. Um, nothing's going to be done to like perfection because we're just teaching here. If you hit enter, it'll connect those remainder lines. And then again, you can readjust just the touch by moving the cursor over. And then, yeah, now you can just take your paintbrush, make sure that is selected. And then actually what you'd want to do is hit a new layer. And now you can brush over this and that will fill that in. So that's one way of doing it. Um, and then you could take this layer and put it, you know, um, 
in front of the image, or you could also uh, mess around with, um, yeah, so you could do that, or again, um, you could just select the area. Let's go back to the area. So again, you could do that, or you could just select the area to be able to, um, uh, you know, just dump the color in there, and then that will keep part of the image. So then again, from afar, that's how you would add some color to your image. So that's all. So that's all we have for this. So that's all we have for this um, lecture. We'll see you in the next video.